Newfoundland, Canada, also referred to as The Rock. This easternmost province is home to some of the highest moose densities in the country. This week on The Best of the West, John Ibbotson and Dan Vendetto search this vast and stunning island for bull moose. Thanks to Huskama Optics and Hornady Ammunition, both John and Dan close the distance on bulls of their own. When you're closing distances at 3,100 feet per second, you can cover some serious country. Well, our trip started in Connecticut, where I live. We left uh, out of Connecticut through Massachusetts, up through New Hampshire, into Maine. About eight hours made the Canadian border. We stayed in Fredericton, New Brunswick overnight, and then got up the next morning through Fredericton into Nova Scotia, picked up the ferry in Nova Scotia, about a seven hour ferry ride across uh, to Newfoundland, landed in Newfoundland, and then drove up uh, to uh, where the seaplane base was for Adventure Quest Outfitters. About a 25 minute to 40 minute uh, seaplane ride over here to one of their lodges on uh, many of the, the lakes. They have several lodges. This one here happens to be at Cormac Lake. We're looking forward to a great week of moose hunting up here. My name is Dan Vendetto. I'm a pro dealer for Best of the West and Huskama Optics. Maybe five or six years ago, I had the pleasure of shooting a shooting system by Best of the West, and I was instantly hooked and a, a firm believer in that system, which makes it that much easier to sell a product you firmly believe in. How's she getting on? <laughs> How's she getting on, boy? How's she getting on, boy? Yeah. We're up here in Newfoundland, and we're going to go over some uh, Newfoundland slang. And, and uh, so, Warren, what does "What are you at" mean? What are you at uh, means uh, what are you doing today, or what are you going to be doing today? And uh, and uh, there's a few more little sayings <laughs> we we usually say. How are you getting on, boy? <laughs> You know? <laughs> well, how's my coffee this morning? Yeah, well, my coffee is great. My coffee is great. Boy. Stoned as me arse. Stoned as me arse? Stoned as me arse. <laughs> Stoned as your ass. Uh, you know? backside. Stoned as me arse. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The, what's the lard tundering? The lard tundering means uh, something went wrong and he's getting very mad at something so he says Lord Hunter Jesus <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's uh, that's some of it boys just yeah. goes on we, that's pretty good yeah. that's pretty good, good stuff good stuff good, good people up and here loves, and loves me shit <laughs> Saturday mornings the boys get to their shit having a few beer and somebody comes in and what are you doing loves me shit boy he was having a few beers <laughs> With a few new phrases mastered, John and Dan are now ready to head out in search of moose with their guides Randy and Ashley. After the break, Dan Vendetto lays down for a 500-yard shot on opening morning. You'll be stunned as me arse when the best of the West returns. You ain't going anywhere now. Ain't going anywhere now. <laughs> the best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, GunBroker.com, Cryptech, Camo. The best of the West shooting systems. Defiance Custom Actions. Hornady. Accurate. 
deadly, dependable. Huskama Optics and LongRangeStore.com We took the Argo for a roughly two mile trek, uh, which is an experience in itself. It's the first time I ever had the experience of, of being on an Argo, and my goodness, they can go through just about everything. We parked the Argo and uh, started our walk. This is my first time ever uh, being in Newfoundland. I had read up a lot about it, uh, just because the curiosity of, of what the landscape was going to be and what the footing was going to be. What I learned was it's called the rock. It's an island and it does have a lot of rock on it. And the water doesn't penetrate and, and it be absorbed in, in the ground because there's so much rock, which causes everything to be kind of like walking on a mattress. It's very spongy, squishy high water content everywhere. And uh, your foot can just disappear in a, in a hole and you never even saw it coming. It wasn't too long after we got off the Argo that we started to see moose. We saw a cow moose first. Shortly thereafter, we saw a bull uh, but around 600 yards just uh, relaxing and eating and didn't have any idea we were even in the woods. The guides got excited. Uh, they wanted to get a lot closer. I ranged the bull and he was roughly around 550 yards and I, I assured the guide that I was confident if I can get a, a prone position that I could take that bull right where he was. With hesitance, the guide said, okay, this is your hunt, and uh, we saw what you could do at the uh, range yesterday, so. That bull decides to go behind a big stand of trees. So I started getting quite anxious, not knowing whether that bull was gonna walk up into the thick woods right behind it, or it was gonna continue to come out in the field. Once we ranged it at 500 yards, I turned that turret to 500. The guides were trying to assure me that it was a, a good shot and he was broadside. Once I heard, uh, take him, boy did I take him. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere now. He ain't going anywhere now. <laughs> First bowl. First bowl, what? It was a small bull by, by standards of, of trophies, however it was a huge bull to me because uh, it's my first bull and I really came up here more for the meat than I did for a large rack. I was here for the table fair. Congratulations Danny on your first moose. And uh, Thank you, Ashley and Randy here, our guides, did a great job this morning. They had scouted out here uh, uh, yesterday. They saw uh, some bigger bulls, but uh, Danny and I are actually up here looking for some meat to bring back home. And uh, any bull for us is uh, is going to be a trophy. We've had a great time. Weather's a little bit rainy today. We're uh, hopefully going to get this guy off of this mountain, and uh, we're going to go out this afternoon and look for another one. I was able to use this new Best of the West Signature Series uh, with a titanium action and a 28 nozzler. And let me tell you, this thing works. Had this bull out at 500 yards and uh, hit it right through the neck. What a great adventure with Adventure Quest Outfitters here in Newfoundland, Canada. When the Best of the West returns, field host John Ibbotson dials up a long range shot of his own. Keep it here on your long range hunting authority.
My name is Dave Clayton. I work with Sportsman's Warehouse, the Riverdale location. I'm the hunting manager here. I'm excited to let you guys know that we've received our first shipment of Best of the West turnkey rifles. This rifle is ready to go right out of the box. They've mounted a Huskama scope on it. Best of the West is taking care of the labor intensive break in. This rifle has been shot to a thousand yards. It's proven. Best of the West uses nothing but the highest grade components. They've got their own action that they've built. Precision hand lap barrel, as well as their own muzzle brake. Best of the West has thought of everything. They've got you shooting out to a thousand yards. They've put a custom turret on this rifle. The best thing they've done is they've actually given you two turrets. Whether you're shooting on the highest mountain tops or the lowest prairies, carrying three calibers, seven mag, 300 wind, and the new hot 6.5 Creedmoor. Best of the West turnkey rifles. Come visit us at Sportsman's Warehouse. We'd love to get you set up. Wednesday, which was the uh, third day of the hunt, uh, the day after uh, Danny actually killed a bull yesterday. Um, Wednesday was a rain day. We still hunted. We went out in the morning. It, it, it poured and the moose really don't like to move around too much in the rain. Uh, and we went out in the evening. Uh, still was raining, but we went out anyway. We actually spotted a moose at 848 yards, but it was later in the day and made the decision that uh, we would probably leave it alone and come back in the next morning and see what we could do first thing on, on the uh, fourth day. This trip to Newfoundland is serving as the proving grounds for the newest custom rifle series that the Best of the West now offers the Mountain Hunter series with titanium bolt and action. This lightweight rifle system is made from the industry's highest match grade components, from the carbon fiber stock and barrel to the titanium bolt and action in a variety of popular calibers. Topped with your choice of Huskama Blue Diamond Scope, wanting to demonstrate just how hard hitting this lightweight rifle is, John and Dan jumped at the opportunity to field test this new rifle series here in Newfoundland. Midway through the hunt, so far the Mountain Hunter series with titanium action is as fun to shoot as it is to carry. So with uh, Danny getting his bull, it's the fourth morning, it's my turn on the gun. After about a probably three or four mile trek in the Argo, got out of the Argo, walked probably an additional mile to uh, a vantage point where we were the night before. We put this bull to bed the night before, but you know how that is. Uh, you put a great plan together and sometimes it doesn't come together. But in this case, we got out there in the morning, first thing, we spotted the animals, or Danny actually spotted a cow, and then the, one of the guides spotted the bull and said, there's the animal that we saw last night. Once we spotted this bull at uh, 700 yards, Danny had ranged it. Our guide said, let's try to get a little bit closer, and I said, we were really comfortable that if we could get a good rest at 700 yards, we could definitely make this shot. We knew we had plenty of time. It was in an area that we would be able to get set up, put the gun in a proper prone type position where the rest 
the steadiness was for a 700 yard shot. We turned our turret. We knew exactly what the yardage was. Turned the turret to 700 yards. We waited for this animal, had all the time in the world. It was kind of quartering to us. Still heavy for it. Made a couple steps up until it got up on top of a knob where uh, he was uh, perfectly broadside. Put my finger on the trigger and squeezed through it as we had practiced many a times. Squeeze that trigger lightly, nice and light. You can take me when you're ready. You can take him when you're ready. Yep, yep. ready. The Best of the West is brought to you by The Wild Sheep Foundation, GunBroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. For information about hunting with Adventure Quest Outfitters, please contact Rex at 709-783-2180 or email at rjennings at personainternet.com. For more information about the products and gear used in today's show, please visit longrangestore.com or call 1-866-754-7618. Squeeze that trigger lightly, nice and light. You can take them when you're ready. You can take them when you're ready. Yep, you're ready. You hit them. Before I could even chamber another round, we didn't need it, and the moose fell over dead. And the way he fell, we knew that the, that, that moose was definitely on the ground for good. Nice shot, hey, buddy. buddy. <laughs> good job, buddy. One shot at 700 yards. This animal did not go far. Our hunt was done with both of us now tagged out with bulls. This new weapon performed perfectly on a 500 and a 700 yard shot. We're glad that we were able to do that, but in this country, it's a lot more open where you can definitely have the opportunity to shoot those kind of distances. And one of the things I, I kind of like to say, if you're gonna spend the money to go on a hunt like this, number one, your optics, and the Huskama optics are the best there is. Your optics is probably one of the most important things you can do, but we offer these systems whether it's a Hunter Elite, Mountain Hunter, or a Signature Series, this gives you the opportunity, whether you end up shooting a 50 or a 200 yard shot, if your only shot for the week on your big game hunt is six, seven, 800 yards, if you practice, you have all the capability in the world of being able to take that shot and have a successful hunt. Thanks. I'm guessing double lung with that blood. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we're up here in Newfoundland. Best of the West has uh, come way out east. Uh, it's their first trip here in Newfoundland. This is actually our second bull. We're up here trying to shoot some meat bulls. Right from the first night, uh, right from the deck of our, our lodge, we probably saw 12 different moose. Uh, weather has been uh, a little wet and rainy, so it's been a little bit difficult. Last night, we actually put this moose to bed. We had him at 843 yards last night. Just didn't want to take the shot. It was late in the evening. We said, you know what, let's go in in the morning. We think we know where he's going to be. He was with a cow. Sure enough, we came in here in the morning and made one shot and actually put this moose on the ground. It's been phenomenal hunting. And if you're ever looking to do a, a, a relatively inexpensive hunt to go do a moose kill, Adventure Quest Outfitters up here in Newfoundland will make it happen for you. This hunt goes down in my mind as one of my best hunts. As John alluded earlier, it was a no pressure type hunt. Uh, we knew there was a bunch of moose here, that's why we came here. 
it was quite relaxing. Couldn't have been more comfortable with our lodge and the staff was, was more than accommodating. And it's a hunt that I won't soon forget. Adventure Quest Outfitters have access to the seaplanes as well as helicopters. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity to go up in a helicopter on this uh, trip. However, a helicopter came in numerous times to camp. They picked up our meat and they had a netting system that it flew underneath the helicopter and they flew it to the butcher. Quite unique, I must say. After a 15-hour drive home to Connecticut, John and Dan fix up some surf and turf to celebrate their return. With plenty of moose steak and memories to go around, it's times like this worth savoring.